In the late 1970s, the tragedy of Love Canal unfolded. During the 1940s and the 1950s, Love Canal was a ditch that was used to store thousands of drums of toxic chemicals. Then it was covered with dirt, sold, and turned into a subdivision. Thirty years later, those drums had rusted out and the chemicals were leaking everywhere. Then the birth defects started. The problem was that Love Canal was not an isolated incident. It was simply the first one to make headlines. Hundreds of sites like this were scattered across America, like landmines waiting to explode. The federal government responded by passing the Comprehensive Environmental Response Compensation and Liability Act of 1980. The Superfund was established by this law to help provide the money needed to find and clean up these hazardous waste sites. The money in the Superfund comes from taxes on gasoline and chemical companies. Billions of dollars have been collected. Using that money, more than a thousand sites have been discovered and listed as Superfund sites. The EPA then tries to find the responsible parties so that they can clean up the mess. When no responsible party can be found, the EPA funds the cleanup. Cleanup is expensive because, in most cases, millions of tons of dirt have to be moved and decontaminated. One decontamination option is incineration. Moving and incinerating contaminated soil takes time and money. It took about 20 years to clean up Love Canal. It may take decades to clean up all the Superfund sites, but with luck and better environmental laws, it may never happen again. So that's how the Superfund works. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works.